Hello, this is Chertsey Lover, and today I'm in London Waterloo SE1. I don't know what road this is. Oh, look, okay, I'm at the station. Woo. I think I'm going to go up to the bridge. Let's go to the other side of London. Why not? Because I don't know what else there is here. But yeah, so today I'm going to be talking about cats, you know. They're a cool cannibal. In Turkish, you call them Kedi. In French, you call them Chat. And in Spanish, completely forgot. Oh, in Japanese, is Neko. So yeah, I like cats. I kind of feel like, you know, not all cats are like this. Some are very needy. But the cats I like, they kind of just do their own thing. They don't really give a shit about anyone. You know, if they want attention, they get the attention. If they don't want the attention, they go away. And I kind of like this. I don't really like this whole, like, if someone wants to talk to you and you're not in the mood, they have to get offended about it. They have to take it personally. You know, act like you need to give them attention whenever you, whenever they want. Because, so, hello, can I get on the bridge? Because sometimes it just isn't, it isn't there. You just don't want to do it. And, like, I've had some situations. One time I was walking around near Pooley Green. And some some cat just started following me. And I was chill with it. You know, they was going slowly across the road. The cat crossed the road with me. And then the cat started walking to someone's, like, fucking front garden. And I just left the cat. I, I, you know, I couldn't follow the cat there. So we parted ways. With my family cats. They, they'd come and they'd come bother me. I'd ignore them because they'd be working. They try, like... They would actually be a bit annoying. They try walking like in f on t on the laptop, walking on the table, but they kind of got the message. If I just like kept telling them to go away and push them away, like they ca they'd come back later. Maybe they just sit on the bed instead as well because they know they're not bothering me there. Why can I not cross this bridge? Oh my gosh! And then you know if I if I went to them, they didn't want to interact. They just ignore me. They just let me let me annoy them until I go away because. I, I mean, I let I let them. I kind of was like, okay, if they don't seem interested in being pet, I'm just going to go away, like simple as. And then I tried making this thing where, like, sometimes they wouldn't respond when you walk in a room. Sometimes they would. You know, like everyone says cats are sensitive and all. They just wake up straight away if you go near them. These cats, like, I mean, they probably, I don't know. They just, they, they didn't always respond. So I made a rule where I was like, if they open their eyes, I might, I'll approach them. If they don't open their eyes, I'll leave them alone. Because I thought maybe that would, like, make them have a way of indicating if they want to be, you know, bothered or not. But now I'm gone, so who knows what's going on with the cats. I hope they're happy. They, I mean, I mean, they were happy. But they, they, they were quite weird. They used to they'd just, like, sit around everywhere. They'd sit around somewhere for a few hours, wake up, go walk around in a few circles, and then go sit somewhere else, sleep for a few hours, go up, do the same... They might stare at the cat flap for a bit. <laughs> Sometimes they go outside, come back two minutes later because they got nothing to do. Sometimes they stare at it and they won't even go outside. But sometimes they go, like the girl, the girl, she go on adventures. The guy, uh, I don't know, he wouldn't really. Like they, they'd, they'd gone on adventures, they'd been gone for hours before. But I think, you know, they kind of just become adults and just, you know, done with life. You know, they don't, they don't know how... It, I guess their responsibility of existing is, is a bit too much for them. So they're, they're just tired out. I've known some other cats. I lived in Leamington Spa. Uh, my neighbour had three cats. They were all mentally ill. One of, one of them was really, really needy. Like, any time anyone new came over, they, they'd want to be pet by them. And, you know, like, I know everyone likes that. But this cat, like, I was getting along with them. And then they just started staring, like, all day they would just be staring at my house, waiting for me to come outside, just to get, like, two pets, and then I'll go to, I'll go wherever I'm going. And they didn't, they never went anywhere, they'd always just, like, sit in the neighbour's driveway. Like, they, it was a grass one, so at least it wasn't just, like, sitting in concrete all day. But they wouldn't do anything, they'd just sit around, like, towards when I was leaving, like, towards the end of the year. I saw them playing, which I was at least happy about, because when I first met them, they they just sit around, they wouldn't do anything. But, I don't know, she was a weird cat, she was like 20, so she might be dead now, because obviously 20 is an old age. They had one of our other cats, he he was like, kind of aggressive, I guess standoff standoffish. If you went near him, he'd hiss. And I'd know, I didn't even know cats could hiss then, that was the first time I'd heard it. Like, from the, from the cats from my family... I've been told they hissed at another cat, but I'd never heard them do it to anyone else. So, I didn't know that cats hissed. 
and I got told by the owner that this cat gets into fights with other cats. I did, yeah, actually, I think that's when I first heard them hiss. I heard them hiss at another cat. So just another cat there, but I've never seen that again. Then they got a third cat, who most of the time I only saw them sitting in the window. They never really got outside. And then one day, like they, they came out sometimes. They wouldn't go very far. I managed to convince them to let me pet them once or twice, and they just go back in. One time they ate some plants, some, you know, like some weed, basically. Um, it was it wasn't grass, but it was, it was some kind of weed plant. I don't remember. And then I watched them throw it. They just walked away a little bit and then threw it up on the floor. That was cool. In Leamington Spa as well, I met a cat. Uh, this ginger cat that had like, I don't know, it was like the jaw was broken, their teeth were like missing in the cor in the, like the corner. And the, they couldn't even meow properly. It was like, <laughs> and they were really needy for attention. And I gave them pets. And some, some old guy, they were trying to get pets from them and he just ignored them. He wasn't having a shit from the cat. Yeah. In, in, in Egham, there's this one-eyed cat. I haven't seen him in a really long time. And the last time I saw them, I was with someone. And I mentioned I always see them in the same place. And then that was the first time I saw them in a different place. And then since then, I haven't seen them ever. And it was weird. These things like keep happening, weird coincidences. I mention the cat and the cat appears. That video, that video I did yesterday, okay, on the what the topic about um, what what job I wanted as a kid, I was uh, I did, I went to his public speaking event thing, yeah, just for fun, and some uh, right, that, that was a, one of the things we were doing. We each take a turn to stand up. You introduce yourself, and then they tell, and then someone picks a topic for you. And some guy sitting at the back who couldn't even read the topic told me to do number seven. He, he said he couldn't read it, and that was, what job did you want as a kid? Like, all these weird things, coincidences happen. The world's trying to make me crazy, but, yeah, I try, I try not to think about it. Like, sometimes I think I've done something that has unlocked coincidences, because they, they've been happening a lot since 2021 20, or two. Uh, I, I mean, maybe in 21, but definitely 22. And it's just, it's just weird. Because that's when my that's when I started getting like brain damaged, <laughs> and then getting into drugs and all, and getting into all that spirituality BS, which I've stopped doing. But the coincidences haven't stopped. I told myself maybe I'm just lucky. I won the ten pound lottery once. So hey, that's lucky. Today I I put my name on some machine as Liam. Uh, when ordering food at Leon, and I think. The guy gave me a free cookie, and I think he said it's because we have the same name. I didn't hear him properly, so I was just like, oh, cool, thanks. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's quite lucky. But, yeah, this life weird. I don't, I don't really like thinking about this stuff too much, because I feel like... I'm not gonna I'm not going to make a proper, like, conclusion about it. I guess I can believe, like, I've unlocked coincidences, but... Uh, I I have to be smart about everything I do. So if I if I say that, then I'm gonna want to have more explanation. And I'm just gonna like go crazy with it and just believe a bunch of stuff that you can't prove, you can't make sense of. So let's just wait until some scientists use like particle physics and not psychology to figure out this stuff, and then I'll believe it. But anyway, I think I've said enough. Um, yeah, cat video. I guess I'll just call it that. Number four cat video. And yeah, anyway, have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.